Hi everyone, this is Mike from Tech Nerd Services. Today we are going to be creating a Google account. There are many advantages of creating a Google account. For example, when you create one, you will automatically have an email or Google's Gmail account, a calendar account, as well as Google Drive, which is an online file storage and document editing application. So we're going to get started by clicking on the blue sign in button. When I click on that, it will ask for me to sign in, but if this is a new account I want to create, I can go ahead and click on the create an account button. I click on that, it will ask for information. So I'm going to create a generic user, but in real life, you would be putting in your real name and information. So first name, I'm gonna put as TNS. Last name, I'm gonna just put in as user. The choose your username, this is what will be your email address, which will be associated with your Google account. So anyone who wants to contact you through that email address would need this particular address. However, because of the fact that it is your unique identifier, it has to not already be created. Very similar to how your home address in your city can't be duplicated or the mail will not know which house to take it to. So here I'm just going to create a user if it is one that's already created, it will give me an error. So if I use two, it says someone already has this. So it gives me additional options. So I'm going to stick with three and I'm going to create a password. The password has to at least be eight characters long, but also it's a good practice to put in symbols and numbers to make it a little bit more complex. Another option that you can do is just write a sentence without any spaces. And that would usually be long enough so that anyone trying to hack your account would not be able to brute force or just try many different examples until they get there. So I'm just going to keep mine simple. And then I will be asked to repeat it. And before I get there, I just will note that when you are creating your password, it will give you a bar to say how strong your password is. And generally you want it quite strong. Then I'll ask to repeat to make sure that you got it correctly. And then your birthday. And what gender you are. Your mobile phone is optional. And if you already have a current email address, that's also optional. I do recommend that you put it in just for the fact that if you forget your password, they can send the email to this current email address so that you can reset your password. I'm going to go ahead and skip these two. And then it's going to get to the CAPTCHA where I do need to put in the numbers I see on the screen to prove that I'm not a robot. Location is Canada and make sure that I do check off the agree to Google's terms of service and then make sure everything is correct. And then hit next step. It says that I apparently have to make sure that I declare gender. So I'm going to go ahead and right back in the password. It will always ask for a password again when it fails. So I'll say that I'm male and 471 a new captcha. Next step. Here it will ask for you to verify your account by putting in a phone number in which it will send a text message with verification. Uh, when you do this, just make sure that you are choosing your correct country because it does default to United States. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Canada. And I am going to use my phone number for our business. 7996. And I'll choose to get a text message. So I'll go ahead and hit continue and they'll ask for a verification code in which I will be waiting for that particular text message on my phone. When I get it, it will have a six digit code, which you just need to put in, hit continue, and away we go. Now it has welcome TNS, because that was the first name I put. Your new email address is this. For me to get started on any of these applications, I just need to click on the apps launcher at the top right beside my email address and now I'll have Gmail, Drive, and Calendar. If I go ahead and go to Gmail, it 
will take me to Gmail and it will start with the wonderful tour. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe down below, as well as check out our website and the companion page for this tutorial also in the links below. If you live in the Edmonton or greater Edmonton area in Canada, you can also give us a shout on our webpage. We do offer consulting and training services. So you can check out our webpage at technerdservices.com. Hit the contact us page and go ahead and give us a shout if you're interested in any of those services. If not, then till next time, see you then.